What's up guys, this is Theo here. Today I am going to be doing a review on Soft Skills, the Software Developer's Life Manual. I think I have the second edition, but uh, this is the link I pulled up. John Somers is the author, and um, I'll show you guys a little bit more of it. So this is Soft Skills, the Software Developer's, Developer's Life Manual is a unique guide. And then uh, I will just go through uh, you know, a little bit about what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, so section one is about your career. Um, so what I really liked was, you know, just always, you know, um, some as sort of motivating and encouraging um, consistent progress and trying to, you know, start a blog or, um, you know, so start something on the side to sort of motivate yourself and stand out amongst your peers. Uh, I know I try and do that with my YouTube videos and I don't claim that they're the best or they're even that good, but uh, I think it's just that uh, consistent repetition and uh, being able to make um, make yourself stand out is very important in this field and always trying to stay on top of the game. Um, so uh, it's just going to be really quick, but uh, so section two, um, you know, talks about, again, you know, uh, letting yourself stand out so through a blog I used to have a blog but it also talks about a YouTube channel um, you know giving doing screencasts and he talks about his time with plural site um, and, and I, tr I truly believe like with a niche like YouTube um, you don't have to have the best videos but I think if you have um, if, if you if you're constantly putting out good content I think it will go noticed eventually um, so that's definitely important and I like how he emphasizes that because I think the sort of entrepreneurial spirit that he brings to the table um, in this book is definitely very different um, from a lot of software developers who might not have that entrepreneurial um, perspective so that's good and just just discussing you know what is it what is your goal you know do you want to become a senior developer do you want to become a CTO of a company do you want to you know, work remotely, just honing in on that goal and trying to lay out a concrete plan for that is important. So section three is learning. Um, so he, he pretty much goes through a process of how to teach, teach yourself anything. And um, I thought that was interesting because I'm really interested in like uh, meta con cognition, like learning how to learn and knowing how you can effectively learn. And I think at the end of the day, I mean, he has this process in there, but I think at the end of the day, it comes down to holding yourself accountable, um, declaring a specific goal, and being consistent like anything in life. Uh, section four, productivity. Um, talks about you know setting specific goals, the quota system, I sort of like that. I started implementing that with my videos, trying to do five a week. Um, burnout, I don't, I don't know if I really agree necessarily with his idea on it and how that you can always push through it. I think there are times where you just, you do burn out and that's just not meant for you anymore. Um, habits, breaking things down into smaller goals and taking things day by day is very important. Um, financial, I like these first two parts, you know, using your paycheck wisely and negotiating your salary. Uh, I personally didn't really care for the options or real estate just because uh, I'm not really interested in that. Um, I liked listening to his story of how I retired at 33. I think that was insightful. Um, I don't know how motivating it was because it didn't really have a lot to do with you know being a software developer. It's more entrepreneurial. So um, I don't know. I didn't think that was. I, I could really relate to that that much. Section six, fitness. Um, I mean, it, it, you know, John, if you ever watch this, probably not because my channel's not that big. But if you ever do watch this, I think. Um, uh, I mean, I think your advice is, is, is rudimentary to someone who's never, um, you know, who doesn't have much knowledge about fitness, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I feel like you should have just stuck to more like software development, um, career progression than talking to us about fitness. I feel like it seems like you're trying to be an expert at everything, which, eh, I don't know. I just don't think that really fit in well with the book. Um, be honest, once I reached this point, 
section six or not section six, but like section seven spirit and just getting into the whole like philosophy and positivity. Uh, I don't know. I kind of tuned out and just skimmed through it because I, I felt like it wasn't really relevant to what I bought the book for. Um, but I like looking at this personal success book list and, um, also this part on love and relationships. I, I don't know. I personally don't think that, um, this should have been in the book either. I mean, it just seems like you're trying to, there are points where you're trying to market yourself as an expert, a guru at everything. So, um, yeah, guys, quick review. I'd say my favorite part about the book, um, was just reading how he advocates for, um, you know, creating a blog with consistent entries or creating like screencasts like I do and just keep going at it and, uh, and just, and just really honing in on your skills and trying to like be the best you can. You know, I really enjoyed that. My least favorite part again was just sort of stuff that I thought was irrelevant. Um, like fitness and love and relationships. And that's just not why I bought the book. I felt like a lot of times it was really broad, but, um, it's definitely a decent read. It makes you think about your life and um, what you're doing to improve it each day. So it says here, I know you can't see it on the screen, but it says the book is currently um, 3261 on Amazon Prime. Uh, I got it as a birthday gift from my mom, but um, I don't know if, it's, if it is really worth that much money. It's, it is a good read, and it's about 450 pages or so, but um, I guess it might say down here. Let's see. See how many pages it says it is. It says 504, right, with the append appendices. Um, but overall, I'd probably give it mm, three out of five stars, uh, maybe three and a half out of five. But um, you guys, for sure, check it out. It was interesting. It caught my attention because um, most of the books that I read are just on like how to learn a framework or how to, you know, get better at this language or or SQL or or whatever, but not like. Not a perspective like this that, again, is more soft skills as the title denotes. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to give you my take on it. I'm not trying to bash the book. I thought it was good. It was just parts that I didn't particularly like, but that's my opinion. Overall, good book. I would recommend it. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you read the book um, or if you, want, if you want to know anything more about it. Um, and, again, John, if you're reading this, uh, thank you for writing the book stuff that you know like like any book or any product you have people aren't gonna agree with or they'll disagree with but uh, overall I think you did a good job and thank you for for uh, your time in writing it so uh, thanks guys um, comment like subscribe let me know what you think and have a great day thanks